The new what? Oh yeah. Yeah, they they did really really well against Boss. Um, the K14 guys actually they don't they don't have a lot of numbers. Uh, admittedly so by Hitman Pike he let me know you know uh, that they didn't have a whole lot of numbers. So that's you know that's why they're doing the 12v12 and they they haven't really done any competitive matches. Um, legitly on any on any yeah on any kind of uh, on any kind of forum. So it should be pretty good. I do not. I do not. <coughs> yeah. <coughs> yeah, Hitman. Hitman Pack actually said that, uh, in a word, he's nervous. Uh,. He said it's going to be their first larger scale scrim or match, so uh, so he's going to have a lot of learning. He's looking forward to it. So I talked to Bo. Bo made a statement on uh, on the match. Oh, I was, I was tweeting. Yeah, yeah. He uh, he feels confidence in his team. He thinks they're gonna do really well. He said. He said he can speak for his whole clan when uh, they're really excited about the match. They always enjoy having friendly matches with fellow hardcore clans. Um, he thinks that they perform well. He said they uh, they're prepared for it. They've been working together. Uh, he feels that K14's kind of been out of the loop, and so uh, so they're feeling really confident. They're feeling they're feeling like they got this in the bag. Is uh, is what I would gather from this. Yeah, based on their debut, I, I ba based on PHSR, when when they first played Boss, you could tell they prepared for that match, and that that was their first official match. So, I guarantee you know they they took from that Boss experience and have improved on uh, on their tactics and what they've been doing. So, I imagine we're gonna see. I I think they're gonna come out really strong. Yeah, I think I. I, I think they're gonna do well. Right now we're just we're just in the burn match now. Well, it looks it. Well, I don't know if you're seeing this right here, but what I'm seeing is I'm seeing that K14, which is gonna be on the Russian side, has got them a sniper posted up right outside of Charlie already. Oh, no, he is not a sniper. He's a support. Yeah, yeah. Very, very true. Yeah. Well, 
Yeah, it definitely looks like uh, looks like we got some movement going on. They're uh, they're moving in now. So somebody gave the call. It looks like to uh, go ahead and well, only the uh, PHR guys are moving. So that that must be that must be the hint. When a base starts getting taken, then they start moving. Okay. Yeah. For any of you uh, checking out my stream, I'm also uh, I'm talking to Freemason Knight uh, with its Mason here. I'm going to post a link to his. Well, actually, what we'll do? How about we do? We'll do a dual feed. Is what we'll do. So you can watch both of them at the same time. I've got seven viewers. Yeah, Big Boss. Big Boss thinks it's going to be a good matchup. I think it is. I think PHR is feeling really, really comfortable. But you never know. I mean, K14 have could, could really have prepared for this match. Um, I know that Hitman Pike is excited for it. He's nervous, so, you know, hopefully that prompted him to, uh, to get his guys ready to do some uh, to do some training, get some tactics down for it. Uh, I just post a, a dual stream link. Is he not? Oh yeah, well, it looks like K14 is missing several guys. Yeah, we might get with Will and see uh, see what's going on with these guys. See if uh, see if he's any. Yeah. Oh, they got ten. They got ten. Here we go. Oh, eleven. Nice. Yep. So they're good. They've got eleven now. So they're even better. That's excellent. Excellent. Yeah, I just posted for those of you that didn't hear me. I just posted a dual stream dual stream link in the in the chat there. For uh, check out Mason's stream and my stream at the exact same time. Technology, you gotta love it. So I, what's that? On one channel. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I would like to get with uh, with old Tack Tanner J Larson about that. Uh, I believe he would uh, probably know how to do that. It may entail having a cap card, which I plan on picking up very quickly, so we can get some nifty overlays going on. Um, there's a really nice uh, nice app for that. I'll get with you on that later. In fact, um. If anybody in my, yes, I do need an Elgato very badly. If you're offered Big Boss, you know what I'm saying? I hear Hop Hog's pretty good. I don't know if I pronounced that right, but. Oh, is it? Yeah, I hear the Hopper. Hop yeah, I'm not sure. Tomato, tomato. For those of you who don't know, no, this is uh, this is a match, an official match for Hardcore League, HardcoreLeague.co. I put a link in the chat. 
you guys check it out. If uh, any of your friends play Battlefield, do so competitively, have a team, man, get them on there. Check it out. <laughs> yeah, I'm just... Really? Maybe you started a new guy for batch reasons or something. I'm not seeing a whole lot of fleers. I'm not seeing a whole lot. I'm seeing a lot of coyotes, a lot of cobras, iron sights even, ACOG four times. Okay, now I'm back on K-14 side. Oh uh, yeah, there's a, there's a clear. Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I'm really excited to see these two play out. I can't wait till the, till the match starts. Did Hitman Punk make it in? Oh yeah, and it's a, it's under the Hardcore League channel. Uh, so uh, Twitch.tv forward slash Hardcore League. Uh, easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Granny snips answered. All the things are twenty. I was telling you, so that you would know to tell them. Getting old. Old fart 54, K14 has got an old fart on there. That's nice to see, rest of your own. Um, I did not see him in. Oh, well. <laughs> now, I don't know if you've noticed this or not, but I really like, I really like the how you can tell each team prepared differently because if you look over here on the k14 side they have got three squads of four okay over here on the phr side they've got one squad of four one squad of three and two two squads of three two squads of three and one squad of two so they've really split it up into four squads yeah yeah i'm really curious to see uh See how they play that out and how they utilize each one of those squads. It's going to be uh, going to be really interesting if they keep it that way. And they could, you know, they could just be sandbagging right now. Well, that's what I mean. I believe they're probably set up for the next map. Do what? Now, I'm not a hundred percent, well, we'll just look, let's see if you just can't take a look here. Yeah, it's going to be a Siege of Shanghai, and then Hainan Resort, and then, and then Goldman Railway. That's what it looks like. Yep. So... P PHR is splitting guys up a beacon up there by the uh, by the K14. They probably didn't get a uh, a spawn up, but they've got a motion beacon up. All right, here we go. 
First round, Siege of Shanghai, 12v12. It's, uh, it's going to be nice. Possibly might have been running late or something. Uh, going to bring a guy back in. I'm sure they'll have him in before the round starts. But yeah, um, for those of you just just jumping in here, um, we talked to both of the both of the leaders of each clan. Talked to Hitman. Talked to Boyle. And uh, the short and sweet of it is, Boyle feels he feels confident. He says his guys are prepared. He thinks they're going to do really well against K14. Um, and Hitman Pike over with K14, he's feeling a little nervous. You know, it's his first large scale for his team. So. Uh, I hope he's prepared. I hope he's ready. Um, and we're going to see how he does. I'm stoked. I'm excited. Yeah. Yep, we run into PHR quite often. Yeah, I'm doing the same. I'm gonna I'm gonna grab a little free cam. Yeah. <laughs> now, do they have they have one tank in this? Do they not? Just one tank, I believe it is. There is the scout. So we ought to see some pretty good air battles here. We ought to see some pretty good scout choppers uh, going at it. Hopefully, K-14 is prepared for it. Yep, I see them. Looks like PHR is still on the U.S. side. Oh, it looks like they pulled an odd maneuver. They they landed their... Oh, that, well, K-14 for... K-14, well, K-14 spawned in the chopper and then both bailed out and died, I guess? There's two blood spots on the roof. I don't understand what happened there. They're... Their scout helo went up, and now it's just sitting on a roof, empty. That is uh, very odd. I'm not. Yeah. Uh, yeah. There's twelve v twelve. So I mean, they've got all their dudes. Okay, I see some movement from the PHR boys. It looks like they're heading up to Bravo, um, via the scout helo. Who we got flying that wreck? Well, PHR, PHR is in. They're on Bravo. They've got Bravo capped. Um, oh, it looks like K-14 ended up capping Charlie. And, uh, all right, PHR is moving up through Alpha. Don't know what was with that start, but, um, but it looks like we got some action now. Maybe, uh, Either way, it's a, uh, it's definitely a bummer, because, uh, well, where did, uh, I'm not too sure what, no, right, right, I'm not too sure what happened, oh, there's their scout helo, their scout helo is back up, and that's what I was going to say, is K-14, is it a disadvantage, is their scout helo went down right in the beginning, um, I think, I think, I think what has happened yeah, I'm over here at K-14s. Their scout chopper's finally back up, and he's waiting to pick up a dude. So uh, I'm assuming that maybe they had some miscommunication. The wrong team spawned in the scout chopper. Um, something along those lines. So we've got answer to everything rolling in that scout chopper. And I believe Wreck-It Ralph is rolling in the other scout chopper, if I'm not mistaken. Yep. Yeah, looks like the K-14 answered everything. His 
going through. Oh, I believe they got a visual on them. Yeah, they're taking fires. Answer to everything's got some repairs on his chopper, but he takes a shot and he goes down. PHR's chopper is just taking K14 down. Wreck it Ralph, dropping him and then cleaning up the roof afterwards. K14 was trying to trying to push on that back cap back on Alpha, but uh, got taken out. Uh -huh, and Wreck It Ralph just rolled in and cleared him off, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, he did through the window. That was a pretty impressive shot with the Scout Hilo. <coughs> Yeah, looks like they've got that third base all capped up. <laughs> K-14's coming in with a... Really, that, those for you that are watching it again do not know. Um, we've got a dual stream going on. The Freemason Knight here. I'm going to post a link in the chat. You can check us both out. And uh, if I have an odd pause, that's why. It's normally Mason throwing a little something in there. Um, K-14 is making a strong push. They come through Charlie. They've got a tank posted up on the bridge. <laughs> I don't know if this is... I don't know if this is... Uh, Quizly or TW Sly uh, rolling this tank here, but he's rolling canister shells. He's got active protection in the, the auto loader. He's taking a lot of shells right now. I believe it's going to be from the chopper and from the roof of Delta, from the looks of it. Pizzas are as a has a pretty large uh, infantry setup on Charlie, um, and they're securing Charlie. <laughs> well, NK14 is pretty spread out. It looks like they had a guy on Bravo. He's down. They've got two uh, two guys in between Alpha Bravo, and then one guy on Alpha. I'm um, acting as a mobile spawn. That looks like the rest are on Charlie. Uh, it looks like they're making a small push onto, onto Bravo. Got him a beacon down. I just don't think it's going to be enough. Because uh, PHR has three guys posted up clearly on Bravo, ready to go. Um, now, if that's... Well, that chopper is actually... That chopper is doing work on, uh, on Bravo. Got an answer to everything. He's got his repair going, and uh, and he's definitely definitely clearing out for his team. That definitely helps. I don't know if it's going to be enough. PHR is holding it. Um, oh, they well here comes Wreck It Ralph in the uh, in the PHR chopper. Got him on the side. And there he goes. Record Ralph comes in and uh, takes him out, says you are not going to take this base. And that should pretty much shut that assault on Bravo down by K-14. PHR just coming in, you know, calling in for the answer. Right now, Record Ralph is, uh, is clearing out the remaining guys and that beacon on the roof. Oh, Record takes a rocket. Oh, he takes a rocket. His repair guy is on it, though. I think it took Record Ralph out. Recon X-Fire recovers the chopper. He recovers the chopper with a repair. Solid move by Recon X-Fire, saving that chopper and the Bravo burn. Nice job right there. That That is solid teamwork right there. That's working for your team. That was, uh, that was nice. Yeah, it was. Yeah, that was excellent. That was excellent. So again, they maintain, but it looks as though uh, K-14 is making a huge push on Alpha right now. They've got, uh, they've got K-14 Psyotic in the tank and he's rolling the coaxial LMG. 
uh, auto loader active protection and uh, infrareds and they've also got a solid infantry force oh no well the team kills yep oh no on the dual stream it's not working for you uh, I am able to view his dual stream. You might want to refresh it. Yeah, K14 is making... I mean, they've got a big presence on Alpha, but that is not going to uh, generate the burn that they are looking for here. Psycho, or Psychoticus. Oh, there you go. So he got you. Yeah, Big Boss was... Uh, that's who was asking me. He said he couldn't see your, your stream there, so... I'm curious... Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. So, PHR just took the tank. PHR Glide just took the tank from uh, K14. Lost it nonetheless, but K14 bailed on their tank before it was dead. Oh, we've got a repair tool on a posted up uh, MRAP there on the uh, Alpha. And he takes the vehicle. Well, they do have one. They they do have two people. No, one person now over on Charlie. Yep. Down. Yeah. Well, they, you know, and, and, and it's a learning experience. They're going to know that they're going to need a plan for people to be in certain spots. Like, if you ch if you look right now, Wreck-It Ralph, even though, or not Wreck-It Ralph, but PHR, even though nobody is uh, contesting Bravo, they've still got guys posted up there ready for that. And it looks like Wreck-It Ralph just got the drop on, uh, on answer to everything in the chopper and just completely wrecked him right there. Come down in on top and... We got Boyle, the leader of PHR, as I said earlier. Uh, he uh, he gave me a statement earlier, said that he feels comfortable, that he he was prepared for the match, and it is looking as though they are prepared for the match. He's on Bravo right now, and they're burning it. K14 is uh, is burning Bravo out from under him. Looks like they've got a uh, motion sensor and four guys on Bravo. <coughs> Yeah, they would have to. They would have to grab a, a commanding foothold and be able to hold it. But it looks like uh, PHR has cleared them off here. Um, on Bravo, Record Rouse just doing circles and uh, boil down here, checking the ground level. Looks like they've. Uh, looks like they've moved back onto Charlie. Um, and they're pushing their home base uh, pretty heavy. They definitely should have focused on that earlier and shut that down. Um, and, and I might have thought about bringing that building down as well. Uh, I don't know, K-14. We've got a tank battle going on right here on Charlie on the bridge. Uh, K14, Sly, and Glide just drives right over the top of the tank. Drives right over the top of the tank and gets his ass in. And although it was a little unorthodox, it was a nice mover, maneuver given, given Sly took Glide's ass in just by climbing right over the top of the tank. His repair guy's in there repairing him now. Or, well, he hops in. I would definitely be getting those repairs on him. He is low on health, 37%. Well, the first round, PHR... Just, uh, just kind of walked away with that one with a 342. That was very, very impressive. Well, you know me, Mason. I'm an optimist, so I'm gonna say that K14. They were just they maybe they had some beginning communication issues, which I'm sure they've got worked out now. So, so I really hope they they both do come out strong. If anybody missed the beginning, they they both come out a little odd. They. Uh, they, 
Yeah, it looks like uh, PHR may be subbing some people out, but Wreck-It Ralph was doing work in that chopper. 20 and 3, you know, he was, uh, he was playing real solid. Looks like their entire team. Yep. Now, as I said earlier, I spoke with, with both leaders in K-14. You know, they said they were a little nervous about this match. This was their first time uh, on something large scale and that they're looking to learn a lot. So uh, I, believe, uh, I believe they're going to. Well, we, we both know what it's like. You know, we've gone into a match and got completely stomped out a time or two. And uh, it's never a fun thing, but you always learn from it. You always learn something, something new. I'm going to grab the tabletop view and see how they split this up. Hopefully this beginning is a little bit smoother. T minus 10. Or maybe there's seven people out. Yeah, it looks like the server is set so that it will not start without the proper amount of guys. However, however, to avoid this in the future, we should probably uh, make sure they're able to roll. Oh, there they go. They are on their way. Excellent. Okay. Good deal. Yep, yep. He's... Yeah, he zoomed in, picked somebody up. He was uh, mighty close. Oh, he come up. Oh, he fired off that rocket. Now I know he's there. It should be a pretty good chopper battle. And this is going to determine a lot because when you win that chopper battle, then that chopper just completely supports that. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Answered everything. Yeah, just rolled in and decided that, he, that, that this is their base that time. That was... Uh, yeah. That was mighty impressive. Yeah, they did. K-14 coming out real strong this time. Getting the two cap right off the bat. Heavy presence on Bravo. Maintaining it strong. The PHR is moving it across the bridge. PHR is making a strong push across the bridge. They've got a, a tank and a truck moving across there. I'm following... Quad U seven 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 uh seven 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 is his name. Um Well we've got a tank battle fixing to go on. Um K14 psychotic just gave PHR his ass in. That's not a wise move in a tank is that's a weakness spot and rightfully so he goes down. 
He goes down relatively quickly right there. And yet, we do have, yeah, PH, PHR is making a, a steady push into, uh, into Alpha right now with the tank. They've got Glide in the main battle tank. He's hurt. He's getting repairs, though, but he's playing it smart. He's got two repairs, um, actually. So... We got a battle on uh, on Bravo here. Icon's taking the high position, dropping two guys, getting a two piece right there at the top of Bravo. He's taking fire, but he's not worrying about it. He's focusing on the guys. He's got a friendly chopper helping him out as well. I imagine that's going to be Wreck It Ralph in that chopper. Um, but it, Icon's doing work for his team. He gets dropped on the beginning, about to get a pickup from Red Riot though. Red Riot gets the pickup. PHR is maintaining the presence. On Bravo, got what looks like an engineer with a DMR on top of Bravo as well, firing rockets on the other side. And just by pure infantry, PHR comes in and takes out a, takes out Bravo. Heavy support from the chopper. I said pure infantry, but heavy support from Wreck-It Ralph and that chopper doing, doing his bit as well. The revives are real. Lots of teamwork going on here. Yeah, Red, uh, Red Riot up here on the roof of Bravo doing a lot of work for his team. Lots of revives. He's rolling the KZ-805. I personally do not use that gun, but it seems to be doing work for him. So uh, more power to him. Got his entire squad up there, I would imagine. Ralph just doing his rounds up there in the chopper. K14 kind of, kind of spread again, kind of spread. Um, oh, Revenge just got a nice C4 plan on uh, on Glide and took out the tank on Alpha, which was doing damage down there. And then he also picks up a straggler at the end and moving into Bravo. Um, Revenge is doing some, some work for his team. I hope he gets some support. He's got a beacon up, so hopefully somebody spawns on that quickly. Um, it looks like, the, again... Yeah, yeah, we do not see the building on Bravo coming down either. You are correct. K-14 making a strong push on Alpha now, and they've also got a presence up on... Uh, up on Bravo, they've got their chopper up. I don't know if answer to everything took out uh, took out Wreck-It Ralph or not, but nice, nice, yeah, answer to everything. Uh, Sean working that chopper, and he's uh, he's he is supporting his team on uh, on Bravo, taking guys out, doing what he can. And K14 is fighting for Bravo, man. They are fighting for Bravo right now. <laughs> well, I have to say they're they're definitely they're definitely a little more organized on this one because they've got four guys on that base and they've got their chopper supporting them. Um, who just went down right now? The Z11 Wreck It Ralph coming in, coming in and uh, and clearing him out. So it's just kind of a battle back and forth. They've still got a pretty good infantry presence on here right now. We've got J20. He's rolling the medic for them, getting some revives up on the top, but it's just not enough. Uh, PHR is too many guys there. Stinger, no, Stinger, he got, he got, yeah, he got hit by a Stinger by Capone. Capone come in and uh, sends a Stinger in. He just sends another one downrange. He did, he did get out, he did get out, but um, PHR is suffering for that. And getting that chopper out of there has uh, 
K-14's capping the base. They've got a uh, heavy infantry force right up on the top, on the east side there. That is true, that is true, but, but, well, now it's bragging rights. Now it's just bragging rights. Yep. Oh, Wreck It Ralph coming in with that chopper. And who was that? God, I see yet. Yeah, I just, I just, I uh, was looking at him, yeah, and that's what he's doing. He's just picking them, picking them off here and there, but uh, maintaining a strong presence for his squad uh, to spawn on him. That's very good teamwork. That's what it takes. Uh, that's what it's about. Sly tried to get a shot off on that chopper. On the AP and the staff show. I know that's glide, that's glide. There was there was Sly in the chopper. Sly, I believe it is, is in the chopper for uh for K14. Yep, and he uh he's he's attacking Alpha right now, which I, I don't know if that's such a wise decision. Yeah, he's flying really low. And Glide was getting an eyeball on him. I hear them shots coming around. He very well. Oh, man. Oh, did he get him? Did he get him? He's hurt. He's got to repair. He's pulling out of there. Well, K-14 has got the back cap on him, Charlie. And, uh... And, no, Charlie is K-14's home base. <coughs> Yep, they're, they had two bases there for just a second, and uh, now it's, they started off really strong. A14 old fart, you gotta respect the name, you gotta respect the name on that. He picks him up a piece down inside the deal. Not on the burn though. Hopefully he's just uh, holding for his team. He grabs him. Oh, uh, yeah. Glide, Glide seems to be, Glide seems to be their tank driver and he seems to be pretty good. PHR has a lot of ground forces there. Oh, he takes the tank out. Blew a hole in the ground. That was, uh, that was pretty salty right there. Just buried him. Just put him in his grave. Well, what I like to see here, too, is I'm on Bravo and I'm watching him. And uh, they had three guys up here on the top. And none of them engaged until a, uh, until an additional two two guys made it to the roof, and then they all engaged at the same time. But it's a heavy infantry battle going on right here at Bravo. Um, looks like Abby, Abby, I don't even Axby, Axby just uh, picked up picked up a piece right there, bailing off the top, and they are just systematically wiping K14 off of here. He got a big old flank, but he had a guy behind him and gets dropped by psychotic. I'll tell you, K K14's making a valiant effort though. They've got guys spawning in. They're they're trying to stay in cover. Wreck it, Ralph though, just lined up and it's just they're gonna wreak havoc on these guys. There's not gonna be a lot they can do about it unless they have a stinger because he just he lined up for the shot and and it's it is gonna be painful now. They've got the chopper up there. They've got infantry. Uh, they are surrounded. 
and just and Axby man Axby playing the floater man just rolling around and picking off everybody at the end just his entire team staying in one spot oh yeah but however K14 held on to Bravo K14 held on to Bravo during all that. Bravo for them. I mean, that was uh, that was that was pretty impressive. Wreck it, Ralph coming back up to do some more damage. Oh, he got shot out. Oh no. Oh no. Yeah, yeah he is. Yep. Yeah. It is gonna fall in the water. Yep. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, he's about to get back up. Red, uh, Red Riot is right behind him. And does he get it? He does. He gets the revive. In the previous, in the previous match, Red Riot did, did a real good job for his team uh, reviving on Bravo, and he's doing the same now. He gets the revive. He knows he can't engage the tank. He tries to drop down into the bottom of Alpha, gets dropped, but Axby picks him up, and in another display of teamwork, picks up his kit and gets the revive on him. So right there, just that little two-man squad is doing heavy, heavy work for their team. Heavy work. Yeah, maintaining that, that presence on Bravo. Keeping those revives up. Just playing it real smart. Playing it real smart. And again, that revive on Recon just gets his back. He just gets his back instantly. Uh-huh. Yep. Oh, wreck it Ralph with another chopper run on the roof. They're just lined up like ducks in a row for him. Oh yeah, he got him. Ralph, Ralph is down. Yeah, he did. Oh, did they both go down? Nice. Nice. Well, <laughs> looks like this second round is going to go to uh, PHR as well. Not quite as large of a lead. Um, K14 came out a lot stronger in that round than they did in the last round. Um, you know, there was some confusion and whatnot. Yeah, been, been a little bit closer. Man, Axby. Axby did a lot of work for his team, 22 and 4. Answer to everything in that chopper. Yeah, yeah. Ralph did very well as well. Actually, man, he was infantry most of the time when I was watching him. And he was, like I said, he was a floater. He was one going around getting the flank while the rest of his team engaged. I mean, it was just a solid tactic. It's solid teamwork. Um, plus, his, his entire squad, which uh, was him, Icon, uh, I'm Superhuman Junior, and uh, one other. I forget the other one. But they were... Yeah, Icon Z71, there was four of them, though. And, uh, oh, Red, uh, uh, Red Rabbit, 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 Riot, Red Riot, that's him. Yep, that's, that's that kid. Um, their squad, lots, lots of heavy, heavy teamwork there with their revives, picking up kits and reviving each other and just, just making. Heinen Resort. On the Heinen Resort, Conquest Small. What are we looking at as far as vehicles here? We've got an attack boat.
Does it still spawn up, Rowan? Similar to C's on this, you know, you want to maintain that Bravo base, you know, you want to maintain that middle one. Yeah. Yep, I agree, Mason, that that, that K-14 definitely should have tried to take the building down on C's. And again, on this one, you take both those sides down, you can't hide. Are we missing? Are they just not readied up? Yeah, we're just missing one guy. Yep. I was hoping to see Hitman Pike in here. Hitman Pike seems like a real, real nice guy, real solid guy. Oh, they have the attack jet. The attack jet is in here as well, so we're probably going to see some attack jet battles. Here, let's see if we can find that. We got Recon Expire in the attack jet for uh, PHR. I will tell you, I do have Hitman Pike in my stream. Hitman Pike is watching, so that's awesome. Yeah, why aren't you in the match here, man? We uh, assumed you would be in here for sure. Looks like the jets are circling each other. Recon fire just come up behind the attack jet. Looks like it's going to be revenge for K-14 in the attack jet. And he flies over deployment, gets spotted, and he's taking fire from that I, &I air. I think it's over for him. He is on fire and smoking, and that's, good. that's it for revenge. Recon X fire takes that. I'm in with Icon squad. Well, the problem is, is they've got PHR's uh, uh, squad on there with Red Riot and Icon, Superhuman and uh, Axby, and they, yep, they're formidable. Actually, there's only four of them. Yep, Axby, Axby, rolling as the floater. Wrong team. Well, K14 again teaming up, making a good presence on uh, on Charlie base, and they also dropped some guys back off at the Alpha base. Glide, man. Glide rolling, Glide's rolling, uh, he's obviously their armor guy. He's rolling in the, uh, in the BTR right now. Cleared out Alpha with the help from some infantry. And, uh, our merchandise trying to get a law off on, uh, I'd imagine that's answers to everything in the Scott he loves. And he does! Oh! Hot merchandise just takes out answers to everything with the law on Alpha. Moving in for his base. Hopefully he can get some some people to spawn on him and uh, get that base under control. Yeah, that's that's who I. Yeah. Electro kid running a solid gunner for his uh, for the LAD. Rolling Zuni rockets. Yep. 
Yeah, yeah, they definitely want to, uh, I mean, if we jump into the, uh, the tabletop view, you got a lot of the K-14 guys, one and, one and two in it, you know, moving in one and two at a time. Um, now they are using an interesting tactic. They have their, uh, the BTR just rolled right through the middle of Bravo. It's still in the middle of Bravo. K-14 is making a violent push on, uh, on Alpha. They just got taken down, though. Yeah, it's Revenge. Revenge has got C4 and Vine. And there he goes. Nice. He gets a three-piece for his team. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that was a nice C4. They've got Texans rolling their, uh, Texan, I guess it would be, rolling their uh, BTR. He's got heavy infantry in front of him. Does not have a gunner with him or a repair, it doesn't look like. Um, which could contribute to the, to the, the BTR going down. Oh, no, he does have a repair. Yeah, he did have a repair. K-14 has got a has got a solid position on Bravo. They are most certain, but they do that. Yep, they they maintain both positions. Oh, and they're going for the three piece. Answer to everything is back in the chopper. Yeah, they are going to swap Charlie for Alpha. Which base is, uh, is Axbeyond? Oh, I saw that, sort of. We've got uh, Answer to Everything and Wreck-It Ralph going head-to-head -head in the chopper again. And Answer to Everything fucking makes quick work of him. Yeah, he does. He uh, rolled in heavy with them guns. Both very solid. Solid little bird pilots. Um, answer to everything. Landed to pick up a to pick up a couple of guys, and he's gonna he's gonna move them. Let's see where he takes them. He's gonna. He has a rib boat sitting way out in the ocean. Answer to everything. Takes out a uh, hot merchandise, and then. Oh, answer to everything! Just sniped the pilot! Oh, he sniped the pilot with the, with the scout elo. That was impressive. Drops the dude uh, back on uh, Charlie, and then uh, wrapping back around to Alpha. But that was that was pretty that was pretty impressive. Currently with uh, with old fart. Oh, old fart! Yeah, Axby wraps the corner and just takes out old fart. Uh, there on Bravo, they were they were they were trying to sneak in, rolling together. Um, we got Texan. I'm with Texan again. He's uh, he's trying to move in. He's trying to move into Bravo. But uh, well, see, he's got. Old Fart is, uh, is his squad leader, it looks like, and they're, they're on opposite sides. And both of them kind of rolling in solo from, from the looks of it um, on either side. Yeah, they need to get a, a team in together for sure. 
He's on the support, he gets drunk. Where is... Well, yeah, and you've got K-14. You've got K-14. Their guys are spawning in on their beacons rather than in on their squad leaders. So they're all landing in different spots and, and moving in uh, slowly. Uh, they're also rolling heavy engineers on their infantry team uh, as they're pushing into Bravo, uh, which I would think they'd want to get a few more medics. In fact, they do not have one medic um, rolling on their infantry team into Bravo here. They've got uh, two engineers, a support, and a recon. Which is, uh, which is very odd. No, I did not see that. No, I did not see that. <laughs> no, I have, I have not. Uh, I'm not seeing. I, I did not see it. Oh no! K-14 using their attack as a as a taxi to get to Echo. Just abandoning the use of that uh, attack jet. Which um, did I say Echo? Charlie, Charlie on that. Charlie, that's gonna be Charlie. My bad. Yeah, complete waste of a uh, of a jet there. Um. Well, and they've changed their chopper pilot. They've got Psychotic rolling their chopper pilot. Uh, rolling 25 mils. He just got shot out. He just got shot smooth out of the chopper. And they're making a hard push for Charlie. Well, and it looks like they're, they've got Alpha and they're trying to cap Bravo and Charlie at the same time. Um, but now they are losing Alpha. So... Well, now Psychotic... Here. Well, they are taking Charlie. I'm uh, I'm a hot merchandise. Oh, and he just lobbed somebody right in the face. I hope K14 has some good dental because Quad U Multiple Seven just took one right in the teeth. Quad U multiple seven. I'm not gonna spit all that out. <laughs> quad U, yeah. Quad U multiple seven. Um, hot merchandise here. He's making it difficult on uh, on Charlie there, but he gets taken out by psychotic in the tank. It's uh. Well, hot merchandise still has some guys from his squad. Nope, that's entire squad wipe. It goes down. Uh, merchandise spawns back in the BTR. He's gonna push back on there. Recon fire, man. Maintaining, uh, maintaining control in that jet of the air, and just doing rocket runs on Echo. Just laying it down. Oh, he got smoked by a stinger. Oh, quad you. Quad U multiple seven coming in with the stinger and taking out uh taking out recon fire in the attack jet with the stinger.
Well, it looks like K14 got a got a three cap a little too late, but they just lost Bravo. They, I mean, they could potentially pull it back. It's they could potentially do it, um, but I do not foresee that happening at the moment because it looks like PHR just regained Alpha back. They've got two guys on uh, on Alpha. One guy now. One guy on Alpha fighting it out. It's going to be PHR Vaughn fighting it out for his team, and he just goes down. <laughs> Yeah, Boyle coming in for his team, getting a knife. Oh, Boyle takes Granny Snipes tags right there in the bottom of Alpha. Gets a revive for his team. And another. And another. Boyle. Boyle runs into two in the room, takes one out, gets dropped, and PHR takes that one. No, you got one more round, Pike, one more round. If you win the next round, if they win the next map, then you go, if they win the next round, then you guys will go to, uh, yeah, they've got to win it by more than 191 or 191 or higher uh, to take the next round. And then you guys will go to Locker or Goldman, excuse me, Goldman. Again, for anybody watching, um, I am currently talking to Freemason. He's also casting this match, and you can check out the dual stream right there. Unless, of course, you're watching on your mobile device. And all the random pauses is because we're kind of doing a dual cast. But, um, yep, so far, K4, or uh, PHR is up. They won, uh, they took the first map uh, the first time. A little odd start on both sides. They took the first map by... 340 so tickets, uh, second map by, or second round by 240 some odd tickets, and then uh, they just took the first round of Heinen at 190, so if K14 pulls it back right here, we could be going to the third map, if they uh, if they regroup and uh, really keep their squad tight, I think it'll be uh, a good map. Hey Blade, check out HardcoreLeague.co. We've got people asking for some dogfight matches. Uh, so if you know any good dogfighting pilots, Blade, you might hit them up and let them know to go to Hardcore League. Wink, wink. Hence the wink, wink. Well, hopefully K-14 is calling a little bit of an audible, you know, uh, possibly... Getting a hard press on Bravo, getting a beachhead set up, you know, being prepared to, uh, to uh, engage that LAB in those jets, you know, get something done about that if they don't think they can take them in the air. Um, I would suggest that uh, that answers to everything and their jet pilot team up and, and uh, remove the air threat and then, then fall down in and get most of their team up on Bravo, try to create a little bit of a beachhead, stop, uh, stop PHR from getting to their back burn. All right, well, it looks like uh, you utilizing everything on both teams. Oh, no. Looks like we got a chopper.
chopper battle going on. K14 dropping a good amount of guys. Oh, Charming Gimp gets dropped out of the air. Quad G7 getting some, uh, getting some sneaky mines placed up, but gets dropped by Axby. <laughs> Well, they did, yeah, they did out of the chopper. Oh, that was an interesting maneuver. We've got Psychotic rolling all the way around to Alpha in the BTR, but the bad side of that is Glide is rolling up right on his six. And he does, he gets the ass end of that. Glide got Psycho right in the back. And he's going to go down. Oh, they bail out of the BTR. They lose a PHR, just maintained control of the enemy's BTR. PHR now has two BTRs. I'm sure they're going to make good use of that secondary BTR. Yep. And they're getting the repairs on it right now. Looks like PHR is strong maintain on two buildings. Or on two bases. K-14. K-14 does have a strong presence on uh, on Bravo as far as infantry goes. And they are taking it. They are taking it right now. Old Fart with the infrared scope. I'm assuming that's because his vision is bad because he is an old fart. Um, gets dropped right down there in Bravo. So does Texan. And Sly. A lot of blue in the kill feed right now. Revenge back on Charlie fighting it off. Taking shots. And gets dropped by Axby. Well, PHR has uh, has Boyle and his squad down there on. Uh, he's got Alpha Squad with uh, Red Riot and Axby in it, along with uh, his squad. And right now, Boyle is maintaining the uh, the rib boat minigun and just doing work on the chopper. Took the chopper out. Boyle just wrecked the chopper. It doesn't get the kill for it, but he did work on that chopper from the boat right there. However, his squad is mighty split up. Belfed is just hanging out in Bravo waiting for his squad to spawn. Gets him a two-piece guy, comes in right behind him. Third one there, he goes down though. PH Bar Arvon, the last one left in that squad, coming up in the rib boat. Yeah, I see him. Big one getting a drop. Oh, he gets sniped psychotic with the J and G ninety. Comes in and drops him. Where did he get him from? He is right on top of Alpha. Holy smokes. Psychotic maintaining a presence on a... PHR is working hard on Alpha. Psychotic, oh, but he gets dropped. Him and his buddy Charming Gimp gets dropped, but they still got Geo Fire on Alpha. Trying to maintain a present, taking shots from that BTR though. They've got a beacon down though. They've got a beacon down, so if they can uh, maintain it. A couple of guys spawn on the beacon, but Electronic Kid comes in and wipes up Geo Fire.
Yeah, it looks like uh, K-14 was wiped off of Alpha. Um, and they've only got one guy there up on uh, up on Charlie, so that's going to be a difficult cap. Now, they've got most of their forces up on Bravo, it looks like. And so they're maintaining Bravo. The one, the one guy that was on Charlie got wiped, but they're moving in with a BTR. So hopefully that BTR is able to... Uh, <coughs> Is able to help them out on Charlie. They've got multiple infantry on Charlie. Yeah, Psychotic moving in. <laughs> well, they've got Axby's squad on on Charlie, and Axby's squad throughout this entire match has proved to be invaluable uh, with their squad cohesion. They're working really well together um, on every base that they go to. They're sticking together, they're staying in numbers, and they're doing a lot of work. However, Psychotic is putting it down, and he's got he's got infantry support moving in from their deployment, so they very well may get Charlie. Um, he come in with that. No, he he spotted him. He's, did he get his squad there? Yep. Oh, yep, yep, yep. Like cockroaches. Yeah, they did. Wreck it, Ralph, putting in some shots at that at Psycho and that BTR. He's they they come in and they capped Charlie. They made a good presence on Charlie and they capped it. <coughs> He's at fourteen percent. His repair needs to get out and repair for him. He's got a. They still back up. Yep, they are back up in Charlie PHRs. Sly take, yeah, Sly take. <coughs> oh. Yep. Yeah, he dropped. He dropped Sly. Sly just picked up Red Riot. Old, old fart comes in though. Takes out the beacon. And a couple of guys, but then he gets dropped by Red Riot. <clears throat> Texan looks like he's getting a little Overwatch uh, on the base there. He, he spots him. He's running that uh, Fleer scope. Takes the guy out, but he gets dropped. Yeah, Red Riot drops him. He dropped the. Uh, Yeah, in fact, he's Ofar is capping the base for his team. Yep, he's got the Fleer on as well. Oh, but Red Riot is just high to that quarter, being super ratty, and uh, having his team right there on him. It's uh, it's good though. It's good teamwork. Looks like Red Riot Squad, Red Riot Squad has been removed off of Charlie. They are now pushing on to Bravo. They're on Bravo now. Um, kind of getting defensive in Bravo, it looks like. Yeah, I'm in Wreck-It Ralph. Wreck-It Wreck Ralph is alone in the chopper as well. Um, oh, and Wreck-It Ralph just gets, he, get, he got windowed. Psychotic just got windowed. Wreck-It Ralph's going to drop in. His repair is going to move in and secure that chopper. PHR now maintains both choppers. That could be all she wrote. That is a, a very devastating asset to have two of like that. Blade, check, check the site and uh, you'll see a couple posts on there about... Uh, one of the guys was uh, Atari, I believe, uh, wanted a dogfight in the uh, in the helos. Yeah, but PHR maintains both of the choppers now. Uh, oh no! Let's see where it was.
And PHR has the three cap now. Both choppers and the three cap. Oh! Wreck it, Ralph goes down. Yeah. Oh! Recon fire takes a rocket but maintains. Uh, but the rocket did not hit him. Just the blast may, may have uh, shook him back. He's still at 100%. I'm not sure if they are in their chopper or the enemy chopper. I believe it's going to be the enemy chopper. They still maintain the enemy's chopper. So K-14 does not have that little bird as an asset at the moment. They're not, they're not, yep, they're not giving up. That, you know, if that's, if that's all I knew about them, then I know that they're gonna, that they're gonna totally improve and come back, you know, and uh, learn from this match, is the fact that they, they don't give up. <laughs> yeah, the, uh, the K-14 made a good choice, especially, like you said, for it being their first match. And PHR is a good plan. You know, we, we watched them give Boss a really hard time. Um, and Boss is a very, very good plan. So, um, so it's... Uh, K-14, they did well for their first match in. 12 guys not used to being on large scale. Um, I, I have faith that they're going to... They're going to rally. They're going to get the guys together. They're going to come up with some solid tactics and do a little squad cohesion training and... Uh, and come back super strong. Team has the two cap. They've got Charlie and Bravo. Um, if they just created a beachhead, they could. I mean, they could potentially bring it back if they maintain a strong control. And neither one of the bases are being contested right now, so they've got a pretty strong foothold. And if you look at the map, um, PHR is kind of spread out. They got a couple of guys pushing Charlie. They've got a couple of guys uh, pushing uh, pushing Alpha, and a couple of guys pushing Charlie. They're pretty spread out. And K-14 has some guys pressing alpha. I'd advise against that. You know, I'd pull my guys back to Bravo and try to maintain what we got because they've got a strong foothold. They could get super defensive and uh, pull this back. Uh, the guys on alpha just got wiped out by one guy, it looks like. Um, oh, well. They also have the BTR moving in, but they're, they're, uh, they're adamant about getting that alpha base. Psycho getting in a big gunfight. What? Well, K14 is currently still pushing on Alpha. I mean, we've got Psychotic. He's up in Alpha. He's running, uh, he's running Engineer. MK11 running DMR. ACOG, Cannon, Psych. Heavy Barrel. Oh, he gets sniped. Wreck it, Ralph comes in he's got overwatch position from bravo he is on bravo even though they do not own the base probably just acting as a spawn for his team and they're going to start pushing on bravo here in a second but however k14 is bleeding them tickets and they have the alpha cap so they've maintained the two cap um first bravo charlie and now alpha bravo 
Yeah, that pager may have gotten a little loose. Um, they, they do have a big ticket lead, but that doesn't mean anything. I mean, if, uh, if K14 maintains this hold, keeps reviving back. <coughs> but the revives have got to be there. Wreck-It Ralph. Wreck-It Ralph getting cover for his team, picking up the two-piece on Bravo, which will pretty much seal the deal for Bravo and give it to PHR. Um, he was up on the roof getting Overwatch on Alpha, and then he rolled back into Bravo when they needed help and uh, did some work. And he catches a dude with, with the uh, shorty 12-gauge. Well... Yep. That is correct. That's good. I'm glad you. I'm glad you pointed that out. 158 was was the lowest. The lowest ticket count. You know, K14. The first time it was three. Second time it was two. Third time it was 190. Now it's 150. You know, which uh, which shows a lot of improvement just every round by the K14 guys um, for each round. PHR. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I agree. I agree. Yeah, they uh, they made a good showing. Um, K14 PHR come out strong, you know. But like I said, I talked to each leader, and uh, that's how uh, PHR felt like they was gonna come out real strong. So they weren't they weren't off base on that at all. And K14, like I said, uh, you know, Hitman Pike was a little nervous about the match. He said, you know, that this was the first time large scale, so. Um, he he was aware that they were that they were stepping into some new territory, but uh, I bet you his guys learned a lot and enjoyed it. Yep, yep. Well, it looks like, yeah, PHR, they're, yeah. Yeah, they may end up staying in here. We may see a little bit of Goldman on here. K14 still, nope, they've got, they've got all their guys on here, so. Oh, nice, nice, yep. And those of you that don't know, um, shortly after this match is over, TWD will be facing off against HBIA um, at 8 o'clock Central Time. Um, we, yep. Oh, Jedi Ashi is on, which uh, hopefully that means Jedi Ashi will be uh, able to broadcast the
Yeah, he sent me a, a voice message as well, so. Which is probably the same. Um, yep, yeah, I'll get with him here shortly. Yep, so, so Pete, Pete. <coughs> Which, this is, the, well, we we are going to be playing on this map uh, as our, uh, in our match, so that will be interesting. PHR, though, pretty much uh, they took this. This is just for, uh, this is just for fun. Right here. Got PHR on the, Ch PHR on the Chinese team. And, uh. K14, you are you. Everybody moving Delta. Everybody moving Delta. I've got. I've got K. I've got K-14 Psycho, he's trying to pick the chopper, and it looks like the their chopper's moving in, but he gets attacked by the attack, by the jet, and Psychotic takes out, takes out the jet, Psychotic just got a jet pick with the tank, I'm going to have to rewind that and watch that later, yeah, he just got a jet pick with the tank, yeah, he, he got a jet pick, I was trying to look in the kill feed, see who he got, because there was a, a jet and a chopper there, everything, He's got a, um, he was in a tank battle without a repair though. No repair for uh, Psychotic and uh, PHR takes him out relatively quickly in that tank. We've got Axby. Axby secured Charlie, getting ready to uh, move up to Alpha Bravo area. We've still got, we've got PHR. PHR's got two tanks on uh, on Delta. Doing work. And Quad U multiple seven. Yep, and. Quad U is holding out on the Delta base. There's two tanks behind him. They do not notice that he's there, so now he is capping Delta back. PHR. Psychotic is trying to get a Jihad Jeep. Let's see if he gets it. He's rolling around with this Jihad Jeep. They maintained Delta again. They maintained Delta. K-14 has. <coughs> yep. Oh, he's going to get it. Possibly. 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 Oh, no. He jumped completely over and bailed out of it. The Jeep is done. Oh, no. He didn't bail out of it. He's still in it. K-14. K-14 does have a lead right now, and Psychotic's about to get a GI Jeep on Glide. And he does not, but Electronic Kid takes out his guy and several more of his own teammates right there. Geofire laying right behind the tank, hiding with his stinger out. No, I did not. Oh no.
Oh, Glad gets taken out. Yeah. By Rusty Euro. Recon fire in the attack kilo. Having problems and gets smoked by a stinger by Geofire. Yeah. Yeah, I'm in with Red Right right now. And the thing about it is, is their squad is just, they're just able to focus on enemies so well because they know they've got somebody covering their back. So they're not always having to spin around and getting caught out of position. Their guys are laying down, they're covering their, their, their lanes of fire and they know they've got somebody covering their back, so. Yep, Big Boss versus DMI. But that's tomorrow, 8 Central, isn't it? We will be shoutcasting that here in the Hardcore League. I believe, I believe he is going to be able to, but I'm not 100% sure we got confirmation. Oh, did they? Oh, excellent. Axby trying to get some C4 on that tank. Yep. Yeah, well, they've got a, they've got a friendly tank that just rolled in on him. I actually need some help. Yep. Oh, boil. doing some work in the attack I just took out a tank. Hey, t yeah, tweet out about our match. attack do his thing but I will be broadcasting on TWD to fear um in my URL Uh-huh. Forward or back? Forward, forward, hold on, hold on, hold on. Forward slash or back slash? Forward slash host. It said unrecognized command. It said unrecognized command.
I, I got it, yeah. Oh, it just shut my stuff off. How do you unhost? Okay, sorry about that guys, I was messing around with my from the broadcast. We'll be hosting for TAC whenever he gets on to Tanner J. Larson will be broadcasting our uh, our match. You know, in this, uh, well, K14 again is making a good showing. I mean, it's only 169 to 284, so, you know, um, and they've got a three cap right now. Our Echo's being contested, but nonetheless, I mean, they're still... Wow, K14 has a four cap right now. <coughs> Charlie's being contested. Uh, and Alpha. Kuro Sensei just cleared up Echo for him though, but uh, they abandoned Echo. Oh no, they're coming back into Echo. Sensei gets dropped by Quad U multiple seven. <laughs> right. K14, yeah, he's K14, Alpha Squad. And they, they secure Beko too. I mean, they are, they're, they're whittling their tickets down. I mean, they're bringing them within a 60 ticket deficit right here, which, uh, <laughs> Which is pretty uncommon, especially with uh, the way the other matches went. <laughs> well, and and well, K14 is also down a man. K14 is down a man.
Yeah. Capone. at Ralph just wiping up everybody on K-14 down in Echo in that tank. And it was just brutal. He was hurting everybody down there. But again... Right. <laughs> no, I was... No, I... I, 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 I sent it out I sent it out right when it started well, I had like 16 viewers for the majority of the match so um yeah I think they may have left and went over to you I've got 19 now or 9 9 a lot better on this one than they have on any. They're spreading their guys out. Uh, K-14 has a, has a good... What? Answer to Everything is a really good uh, scout helo pilot for K-14 as well. He did, he did really, really well. Multiple seven. Now they've got old fart squad up on uh, on Alpha Bravo rotating around. Yeah. Well, K14. K14's within 30 tickets of lead. And and they're about to get a. Old Fart Squad is maintaining Alpha right now, getting the cat. No, they're actually losing it. They're actually losing it now. Old 
fart maintaining position on Alpha so a squad can spawn and get that base back. Oh, well, if uh K14 is going to maintain the three cap. Yeah, that's old fart squad. Well, they're maintaining it. Uh, Old Fart playing it real safe moving into Bravo too. He's rolling around those corners and just checking them. Wait a minute, wait a minute. I've been reading this wrong the entire time. K-14 is winning. They're up. Yeah. I've I've been I've been reading it backwards. Yeah, they are up. They are they are main they're and they're maintaining. They're maintaining the lead rather well. Geofire just takes out belt fed and boils for the chopper by tank. Rick Ralph playing it smart, making. K-14 is, is maintaining the alpha burn. Yeah. Huh, K-14 takes that round. Yep. actually going to bounce out on this one and get ready get prepared for our match that we have coming up um thanks everybody for watching if anybody uh has not checked out hardcore league check out hardcoreleague.co um i will put a link up in the chat Yep.